What's up YouTube? Henry Junk Fitness here. Today we are here to review the Nenk or Nenka Bone Conduction Runner 2 Pro headphones. These were provided to me by Nenk, so thank you for sending them. These are my very first bone conduction headphones and I'm super excited to test them out because I've never used a set of these. However, I've always wanted to try a set. All right, so this is what comes in the box. You've got your manual as well as right here. This is where the USB charging cable comes as well as I believe this is to kind of hold it in place so you can loop this around on either end so you don't lose the Nank headphones but overall I find that I don't need this because it seems to stay on my head here you can see the charging port it's magnetic so it's nice and easy to charge it does have a very satisfying very satisfying magnetic click so that's good to see make sure to charge it out of the box and you're good to go but yeah essentially when you turn it on as you can see there's three buttons here you've got your power button you've got your plus and minus and let's try turning it this on actually see if you can hear it i don't know if you picked that up probably not but there is a as soon as it's powered on, it says powered on, Bluetooth pairing. So that's uh, kind of neat to see there. There's the power button. It's also the mode key and the plus and minus buttons volume to increase and decrease the volume. And then you press and hold the plus for the next song, press and hold the minus or volume down button for the previous song. And also you can uh, short press the power button to pause and resume your songs. Now I haven't used these for calls just yet, so I'm not entirely sure how good they are, but uh, in order to hang up and answer the call, you press short press the power button, and then to decline a call, you press and hold for two seconds, and then the volume control, you've got plus minus. Uh, Bluetooth pairing is pretty straightforward. Press and hold the power button, it'll turn on and go into Bluetooth pairing mode. Very easy to do with my iPhone and easy to pair. You can see the device in your phone settings. In terms of the battery power, it says it's about five hours at 60% volume and, you know, depending on your usage. So, so far I haven't charged it just yet, but I believe I've used it for, I want to say at least four to five hours already. So, you know, the battery should be dying soon. So I'll keep using this and see what happens, but there is a 200 milliamp hour battery in this headphone unit as per the specs. It says a two hour charging time and again, waterproof grade of IPX8. So all in all, really cool. It's easy to clean. I clean this and rinse this after every wash or after every workout, uh, just so that there's no salt and corrosion buildup, but also to get rid of the grime. But yeah, as you can see there, it's in the Bluetooth pairing mode. I'll go ahead and turn this off and use it on my next runner ride. As you can see there, 30, 32 grams for the headphones, very lightweight. They are compatible with glasses as well. And overall, they're a great set of headphones for running, potentially cycling, depending on if you want to listen to music. They fit really well on my head. They're super lightweight. And as you can see, they're really easy to set up and just put on your head and go for a run. I have tested these and they feel pretty damn awesome. I've worn a hat with them. I've also worn sunglasses and they still fit on my head well. The bone conduction is something that you might have to get a bit used to. The sound quality isn't as great as let's say earbuds or noise cancelling headphones. However, they still allow you to listen to the music or podcasts while running or cycling or walking just wearing them daily and also the benefit is that you can hear the external environmental sound it could be said that it's a bit safer honestly these are super comfortable while running i don't feel them moving up and down they stay on my head and they stay in place and i'm able to listen to the music freely there are some times when i'm chewing on something or eating and it does shift slightly and you might lose a bit of sound partially but other than that while running you can definitely hear the music and podcast they are pretty awesome for cycling i want to test them with the straps on the outside later just to see if the sound quality gets better 
but overall I can hear the music but once you hit above, above let's say 30 35 kilometers per hour that's when you start hearing muffled sounds because of the wind but that's not the problem with the headphones it's mostly just the wind but yeah overall I do really like these Nank bone conduction headphones they work well for running cycling as well it kind of keeps my commute more fun and I'm still able to listen to the traffic sounds sounds of people etc walking by so that's a big plus there but yeah so far it seems to be working really well and I really like them I'm not sure how it compares to other headphones because I've never used other ones before so you'll just have to take my word for it but overall I really like them for its purpose Sound quality wise, you're not going to get the same type of sound quality you're getting in, let's say, noise cancelling earbuds, etc. But it's definitely a different vibe with these bone conduction headphones. I think I'll definitely use these as my earbuds or music headphones for running, definitely for running, because I find that earbuds always tend to fall out. And this way, I'm safe. I get to hear the environment, the traffic, people talking, etc. just in case. Check them out, Nanka, Nank. Use code Henry Chung Fitness for a discount. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you've used these before, let me know in the comments below. Or if you've used different ones, different uh, bone conduction headphones, let me know in the comments below what you think. All in all, so far, I really like them.